Lightning fans, my name is Hannah Hill, your Tampa Bay Lightning pregame preview. The Lightning are 1 out in this series against the Carolina Hurricanes after they won 2 1 in game 1 against the Canes. The Lightning will be without Savard due to injury. However, Coach John Cooper did say that Savard will make an appearance throughout this series. However, the Lightning will have Eric Chernick back in the lineup after he ended up leaving game 1 due to an apparent injury. One of the biggest key factors to the Tampa Bay Lightning's Game 1 win was obviously Andre Vasilevsky as he ended up making 37 saves. Who do you guys have for Game 2? It's the Tampa Bay Lightning or the Carolina Hurricanes. Puck drops. Hello, sorry. Lightning fans. My name is Hannah Hill with your Tampa Bay Lightning pregame preview. The Lightning are back home in Tampa and are preparing to play against the Carolina Hurricanes in Game 3. Going into this game, the Lightning have an advantage over the Canes, and that being that the Lightning have two wins under their belt. These past two games, we've definitely seen that the Canes have tons of shots on net. However, John Cooper ended up saying that it's not how many goals you get, but it's how many you keep out. Going into game three, the Lightning need to play the full 60 minutes and play to the last whistle. Puck drops at eight. Tampa Bay Lightning take Game 3 at the NASA Coliseum in Long Island. Mikhail Sergachev ended up saying earlier today that playing in the Coliseum was not a threat. It was a challenge and that's something that they are ready for and they approved that exactly tonight as they ended up defeating the New York Islanders 2-1 in Game 3. The Lightning now lead the series 2-1 going into Game 4 which is this Saturday. The first power play of Game 3 ends up going to the New York Islanders as Mikhail Sergachev was sent to the box for roughing against Kyle Kamari. The Islanders couldn't capitalize on that power play. However, shortly after that power play came to a close, Cal Clutterbuck ends up putting one up for the Islanders tying up the game. Brandon Point ends up scoring his 11th goal of this postseason, and that goal continues his six-game goal streak. Going into this third period, it's going to be an intense one, as after that last whistle was blown, there were scrums all around. Lee Coleman ended up saying at the end of last season that when the boys are blocking shots with their bodies, that means the team is playing at their best, and that is something we have been seeing throughout tonight's game. Honestly, from the first period throughout the second period, they're blocking shots intensively. Players such as Mikhail Sergachev, Anthony Sorelli, and as well as Ryan McDonough are really blocking shots with those bodies. Trangelo of the Vegas Golden Knights ends up fine to the back of the net, making it a 2-1 game, and that goal continues his two-game goal streak. However, that lead did not last for long as Montreal Canadiens' Josh Anderson ended up fine to the back of the net, tying up the game, forcing an overtime. Josh Anderson of the Canadians does it again as he ends up scoring the game-winning goal. In the Lightning came into this third period with more momentum they had throughout the entire game as Brandon Point ends up finding the back of the net. Shortly after that, Tyler Johnson ends up scoring his second goal of this year's playoffs, attempting to tie up the game. However, the Lightning do fall to New York Islanders with the 3-1 loss in Game 4. The Lightning will attempt to bounce back in Game 5 at home at Emily Arena this month. The Tampa Bay Lightning came into Game 5 showing a exactly why they are the defending Stanley Cup champions. 
Captain Steven Santos ends up finding the back of the net, scoring within the first 45 seconds of this first period. Shortly after that, Yanni Gorch on the back of the net, making it a 2-0 game, and leading to Alex Killarin to make it 3-0 going to the surge. They found themselves in the penalty box a couple times throughout this period. However, the Lightning were able to kill those penalties. Anthony Sorelli ends up scoring his fourth goal of this year's postseason, making it a 2-0 game. However, Jordan Everly ends up finding the back of the net, making it 2-1 going into this third period. And after that final whistle in the second, there are scrums all around, including Captain Steven Stankos getting cross-checked face first into the boards. And there are some words between Pat Maroon and a couple of the New York Islanders, so this third period is going to be an intense one.